Hi. Today I'm going to show you how to write your first paragraph with paper pal. So I've done all my reading. Uh, the literature review has been done. All the reading has been done. I have ideas in my head as to how I want to write my paper, and I put it down very crudely. But I don't know how to proceed further. All right. So this is exactly not a blank page, but I have very informal, crude text over here, which I want to convert into a usable paragraph for my paper. And here's how I can do that using paper pal. So first, I jot down all the thoughts in my head right over here. My topic is the role of estrogen receptors in prostate cancer. And I've added certain points from my study or of what I want to include in the first paragraph. So what I do next is go to the templates feature inside PaperPal. So templates provide an option for a research article outline. I will select that. So under research article outline, what I want to do is I want to start writing the discussion section. So from this drop down, I will select discussion. Field of study is say medicine and the brief description. So for the brief description, I'm going to provide this particular text. This is a text based on my study, which I have written down in a very crude and informal way. And let's see what output the outline feature is able to provide me. So what outline does is it will provide a very structured outline for a discussion section. It will give me certain section headings that are relevant for the good flow in the discussion section of the paper and which I can expand upon. So here you go. So it has given me an outline that starts with aims, objectives, existing knowledge, topic important, comparison, contradiction. All right, it seems to be generating quite a bit of an outline. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and insert it. Here you go. It has inserted that outline for me. So it has provided aim, observation, existing knowledge, topic importance, comparison, contradiction, supporting data, so on and so forth. So what this means is as per PaperPal's outline feature, my discussion section should have information that pertains to each of these subheading. For example, it tells me that my discussion should preferably begin with, let's say, an aim statement. All right. So I'm going to use, let's say, this particular aims, but I already have some text here. So I'll perhaps use this particular aim of the study. I'm going to begin my discussion section by restating the aim of the study. Okay, so I don't need this subheading over here. This is a discussion section. All right, I've made a discussion. So I have got my first sentence to begin with the discussion with. All right. And later on, I should write the observation. But I need to expand upon this initial aim and the general background of the study, right? So I need to expand upon it. So then I have topic importance. Okay. But I don't need this, this statement. It is best suited for an introduction section. All right. Uh, this seems good. Study significance. It is important that I restate the significance of my study. So I'm going to place it over here. Hmm. Now, how can I expand it further? I can either look through all of this, but I'm going to retain the remaining statements as is because these are landmarks for me to structure my discussion. What I'm going to do next is use the new write feature inside PaperPal. So what write does is, is it takes in the existing context, the context of the existing text, and recommends or gives me the next sentence that I should basically include based on the existing context. All right, so here it is. So there are multiple ways by which you can use write to get the next sentence. This is sort of like a sentence builder, if you can say. So you can either expand upon it, counter argument, give an analogy or an example, or tell PaperPal what to write next. So I'm going to use this particular. So tell PaperPal what to write next. Provide next sentence. I want to say that estrogen signaling in prostate cancer is a tough problem to solve, but we have found good results. So in my head, I want to say that the problem of the research statement was very challenging, but that we have found certain solutions to it. So let me see what information I get. 
All right. Aha. Uh-huh. Despite the challenges, our research suggests that targeting estrogen receptors. This is a very good statement that I can use. But for now, I'm just going to paste it over here. Why would I do that? Because right gives you three different options, not just one. So you don't have to click on regenerate every time. So this is the second option. Findings of the study suggest that targeting estrogen receptor alpha. Mm, I've not mentioned anything about estrogen receptor alpha. Not exactly a suitable statement. Let's check the next one. However, more research is needed. Again, not very suited for, let's say, an introduction or the beginning sections of a discussion. This might be more suited towards the end of the paper, perhaps. So I'm going to go ahead with this one. This seems very good. So yes, so perhaps I can write this. Despite the challenges, our research is a targeting estrogen signaling in prostate cancers. I don't need cells, so I'm going to make certain revisions. So I'm not using the AI outputs as it is. Now, do I need certain reference for, for this? Or what more in the literature can I find out about for this? So PaperPal provides a research feature right inside the app by which you can ask a question, search for literature on the go while you're writing your paper. So I'm going to maybe ask some questions on what are the molecular mechanisms of prostate cancer involving estrogen. Okay, let's check what do we get. So what research does is that it scans our discovery, which is a sister product of PaperPal, which has over 250 million plus papers. It scans this particular database, understands the question, and then retrieves references that are relevant to the context of the question. And then unlike, let's say, uh, ChatGPT or Google Bard or Gemini, what it does, it will provide you with academic references such that every statement is backed by citations. Here you go. It has given me a nice summary. First, molecular mechanisms involving estrogen and multiple complex, estrogen as receptors, particularly beta, play significant roles. So these are good. Let me also check whether the paper is actually relevant based on the title. It seems it is. I can also click on the preview option here. By doing that, I get a quick read of the abstract. I can quickly read the abstract and based on a general cursory scrolling of the abstract, it seems relevant. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add to library. What this does is it will store the reference in the citation library over here such that later on I can go and read the full paper and then make, let's say, a judgment call as to whether this paper is actually needed or is it like a redundant reference, something I already have with me. So yes, this result seems good enough. I can take this summary. I can add more points over here. For example, I can say this particular sentence seems usable. I'm going to copy this over here. This could be my next sentence. So I'm going to paste it over here. Since this is AI generated, I'll do the due diligence of not using this directly. Molecular mechanisms involved in multiple and complex. Estrogen receptor and its receptors. This is good. All right, that's some minimal changes that were needed in the sentence. But if I want to maybe, let's say, find a different way of presenting the sentence, I can go to rewrite. I can maybe use the paraphrase feature over here and click on generate. So what this does, it will take in the existing text and provided a paraphrase version. So prostate cancers, molecular organisms involving an intricate. I don't like the possessive form. Maybe I'll regenerate it. Let me see what do I get. Okay, well, it's the same thing. Okay, so perhaps I can replace this over here and quickly modify this over here to suit my tone such that this feels like something I have written, the mechanisms of prostate cancer. And there you go. So I started with one very crude sentence, one very crude statement, one or two crude statements that came directly from my head. I generated an outline, found a sentence that was useful for me, had right generate the next sentence and use that as a context to form a question that I, which I queried the research, got some interesting literature and then got my next sentence over here. And this is how we can expand upon an original idea or original group sentence 
and then expand upon it to make an entire paragraph.